Good morning, my country people. I hope your weekend is uh, fine. I'm okay too. Let me start first by thanking you people for the support you are showing me since I started this channel. We are almost at 7,000 subscribers, guys. I hope this information and our content is helping you guys. Let's continue sharing, uh, commenting, and liking our videos so that they may reach as many people as possible. Today we are going to talk about another very important topic, our uh, condition which, which is common to our children each and every time. So today we are going to talk about moms. What are moms? Moms are also called uh, parotitis. Moms is a viral infection that primarily affects, that primarily affects saliva producing glands that means saliva in glands located near your ears let me repeat this mumps or parotitis is a viral infection that affects that primarily affects salivary producing glands or saliva in glands located near your ears Mums can cause swelling in or in one or both of these glands. What are the signs and symptoms of mums? This is a very common condition and I hope each and every one has ever seen a child having mums or he or she has one time and this kind of a disease. Note this, some people may have no signs or symptoms or may be very very mild and develop two to three weeks after exposure to the virus primary sign of mumps is swollen salivary glands as i have said above this disease affects the salivary glands or salivary saliva producing glands which are located near the ears that's why you will always see uh, when somebody is affected or when a kid is affected you will see a swelling just below the ears so primarily the primary sign of mumps is swelling or swollen salivary glands causing the cheeks the cheeks to puff out i hope you get that the cheeks puff out when they swell number two uh, pain in swollen salivary gland. Obviously, when there is a swelling, there must be pain, and the child will uh, uh, have, uh, you will have some uh, pain. Pain in swollen salivary glands on one or both sides of face. This that is another sign. Pain in swollen salivary glands in one or both sides of your face. As I have said above, the disease can affect one or both salivary gland. That means in either side of your face. Uh, another sign uh, is uh, pain while chewing or swallowing. The child will be having a bit of pain or severe pain while chewing or swallowing food. We have what we call fever. It may, it may be low grade or high grade fever depending on the level of that virus in the body. Uh, we have headache, obviously there must be headache, we have muscle, uh, muscle aches, we have, we have a, a loss of appetite, the child will be refusing to, to feed or eat, uh, we have weakness and fatigue. Note, mumps is uncommon, so it's possible, not this, it's very important, mumps or mumps virus or parotitis virus is uncommon so it's possible that another condition uh, is co causing signs and symptoms similar to the one for mumps i mean in this point i mean that mumps is uncommon so we may have another conditions which may have the same symptoms as mumps or you can confuse other conditions to mumps for example, other conditions which can cause signs and symptoms the same as mumps are one, uh, swollen salivary glands and uh, fevers could indicate one, 
blocked saliva in gland the saliva in gland may be blocked so if they are blocked they will have the same symptoms as mumps uh, we have um, different different viral infections other viral infections can have the same symptoms as mumps for example fever is a common symptom loss of appetite is a common system uh, symptom Muscle X is a common system uh, symptom to many diseases and also addict. What are the causes of mumps? What causes mumps? Or, or what causes parotitis? Or what causes this inflammation? Mumps is caused by a virus that, not this is very important, mumps is caused by a virus that spread easily from one person to another through infected saliva not this mumps is caused by a virus that spread easily so easily from one person to another through infected saliva if your immune system is poor if the immune system of a child or if your immune system is poor you can contract mumps by breathing in saliva not this if your immune system is poor you can contract mumps or parotitis by breathing in saliva and droplets from inf infected person through sneezing or coughing so uh, in our next video we are going to to, to talk about uh, treatment and uh, complications of uh, mumps guys thank you for the support keep the support on continue subscribing liking and sharing and our videos and if you have any condition you want us to discuss you can put it in the comment section let's enjoy our, our, our weekend and maintain peace